My name is Father Albert. I'm from a traditional Dominican community in Belgium, the Dominicans of the Holy Rosary. And I'm here at the Fatima Center to answer some of your questions. What are Ember Days and how should I observe them? Well, Ember Days are days of penance, which um, are traditional in the church uh, to commemorate the four seasons of the year. This happens four times a year, the Ember Days. Um, and it goes all the way back to Pope Leo I, back in the fifth century, and even before that, he speaks about them. He has sermons on these Ember Days. And he explains how they consecrate the season, its beginning, um, by uh, some penance. And it's, there's references to the Old Testament already, where you have these, um, they, they would have them with regard, these days of penance with regard to um, the seasons of the year. For, for example, to... Um, consecrate the first fruits. Um, in the New Testament, it's simply a matter of beginning a period of the year by doing some penance to consecrate the time that's beginning to God. So the first one is in the third week of Advent, which is the beginning of winter, the 21st of December, usually falls around that time. And so you fast for three days, Wednesday, Saturday, excuse me, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday in the third week of Lent. Then at the be excuse me, third week of Advent. Then the second one is in the beginning of Lent, um, which happens near the beginning of uh, spring, March. The next one takes place during the week of Pentecost, uh, which usually happens in June sometimes, but it's the beginning of summer. And then the fourth one will be in September or autumn. Now these are simply times of which, in which we fast and do abstinence for those, those days. Uh, it's, a, it's a tradition in the church then to keep these ember days, and it's a good way to keep control of our concupiscence as well. In fact, all of a sudden to stop and do some fasting and abstain from meat and not just to live according to our passions and our, let our appetites rule us. We put our foot down and say no. And it's a very good exercise, especially if um, you're not used to doing fasting and, and abstinence. In our order, these ember days don't really mean much, especially during the time from September 14th to Easter, because we fast every day, like the monks, uh, except for Sundays. Um, so it doesn't really hurt that much to, to do some more fasting, because we're, you get used to it. But when you don't fast often, it's 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 a good, very good mortification to have to, on these particular days, uh, refrain from eating as we usually do. Um, because we have to do penance or we won't go to heaven. It's our Lord that says, says so, and that's, it's, it's just part of the Catholic faith. And it's something that needs to be recalled today. Um, so it's not a small thing to keep these traditional times of abstinence and, and fasting, and to teach your children to do so as well, even though they're not obligated necessarily to do, um, to keep strictly the fasts and abstinence, but um, they do have to learn how to control their passions. It's one of the most important things to teach them. Um, so, yes, let us keep these ember days. It's, it's a very important important part of our faith. I hope that answers your question. Um, pray to Our Lady to enlighten you, to help you. May God bless you.